So we'll just stop right there. I made a mistake when I planned out this windowsill. I thought that if I measured the opening of that windowsill, it would sit right down in there and look good. Two problems with that. Number one, I did the sheetrock, so the sheetrock inside that windowsill is slightly wider at the window than it is at the edge. So you've got a fat gap back there and you can't really fill it with caulking or silicone because it's so big. The other mistake I made is that I have rounded corners. So you have a flat windowsill sitting in there. At the bottom you have the rounded corners that go in. It just doesn't look good. So I take my multi-tool and I cut that sheetrock right at the top edge of the windowsill. I don't have to worry about scratching that windowsill because it's too short at this point. So I just take my multi-tool and cut right in there. Take that piece of sheetrock out, measure again, make another windowsill that's gonna slide in under the sheetrock on both sides. Let's go put those in and see how they look. Well, that looks immensely better. I do have a little bit of touch up to do. I'll tape off the windowsill real tight up to the sheetrock, get some white caulking, smash it in and around there. I have some leftover paint from uh, about a year ago when I painted that bathroom. Hopefully it's still good. I can put a little touch up on it and you won't even notice. Now the other windowsill that I made is for the laundry room. And I haven't been videotaping that room because that window has a cat door insert kind of put in it and the cats come in and out. And I don't clean as much as I should. My cats are kind of dirty. I'll give you a little video clip, a little picture clip. And that's all you get. Don't judge me. I'm not a clean freak and my cats are filthy. Anyways, the other window sills I have to make for the house do not have sheetrock around them. So I'll make a whole window frame and window sill and put it all in. I won't have to worry about cutting sheetrock. I won't have to worry so much about fit and finish, but I have more to make. Until next time, go make something.